Hi there, my name is Dixon Wong. I am an award-winning and multilingual tutor at the profs, having graduated from the LSE. I specialize in subject tutoring in economics, maths, and Mandarin for GCSE and A-levels, as well as the 11+, plus, 13+, plus, 16+, plus ISEB and CAT4 entrance exams for UK's most competitive independent and grammar school admissions. Students that I've tutored have gained entry to or are currently studying in top UK schools, such as King's School Wimbledon, St. Paul's, Dulwich College, Wickham Abbey, Cheltenham Ladies College, etc. And in some of the best UK universities, including Oxford, Cambridge, the LSE, UCL, KCL, etc. 97% of my A-level students achieve at least a grade B or higher, with 72% of them achieving A-stars and A's. And I also boast a 100% success rate when it comes to my GCSE students achieving at least a grade 6. A-levels. Well, A-levels are one of the most important qualifications for students in the UK, often serving as a gateway to higher education, apprenticeships, or even direct entry into the workforce. As we move into 2025, A-levels continue to evolve, adapting to changes in educational standards, in technological advancements, and the demands of a rapidly changing world. This guide will provide you with everything you need to know about A-levels in 2025. Number one, what are A-levels? A-levels, short for advanced levels, are subject-based qualifications that students typically take at the end of their secondary school education, usually between the age 16 to 18. They are widely recognized as the standard qualification for university entries in the UK and in other parts of the world. Some of the key features of A-levels include duration, two years, year 12 and year 13. Assessment, mostly exam-based with some coursework depending on the subject. Number of subjects, between three to four, sometimes even five, but studying in depth. Grading, from A star down to E as a minimal pass grade. Subject choices in 2025. A-levels offer a wide range of subjects, and in 2025, students will have access to both traditional subjects and more than courses that ref reflect the revol evolving needs of society. Whatever it is that you choose, it is important to select the subjects that align with your strengths, your interests, your university plans, and your future careers. Think of A-level subject as seeds that you're planting. Each choice has the potential to grow into a thriving career. The subject you choose now can set the course for years to come, so please choose carefully and choose with purpose. Here are the two main categories, traditional academic subjects and also modern and emerging subjects. In terms of traditional academic subjects, we have maths and further maths, where it's absolutely essential for students pursuing degrees in the STEM field. Sciences, chemistry, biology, and physics. These remain popular for careers in healthcare, in engineering, and in research. Social sciences, like economics, psychology, sociology. These are growing in demand due to their increasing relevance in business, in finance, and in public policy. Humanities, subjects like history, geography, and English literature, continue to offer valuable skills in critical thinking and analysis. Category two, modern and emerging subjects. Things like computer science. As technology plays an ever increasing role, computer science remains a key subject, especially for students interested in AI, software engineering, cybersecurity, etc. Environmental science, with climate change looming, more students are opting for subjects that tackle environmental issues and sustainable development. Business studies, entrepreneurship and business skills are in high demand, and A-level business studies provides a foundation for students interested in starting their own ventures one day. So, in terms of choosing your subjects, universities will often have specific subject requirements, especially for specialized degrees such as medicine and economics. So please research your options early. At the end of the day, choose subjects that you enjoy. Choose subjects that you excel in. Choose subjects that open doors for you in the future. Number three, key changes 
and trends in 2025. As education adapts to the modern world, several trends and innovations are shaping the A-levels in 2025. There's a stronger emphasis on digital literacy, critical thinking, and global awareness. Sustainability and technology-focused subjects have taken center stage, and even traditional subjects are now taught with a new twist, integrating skills for modern careers. Things like digital learning and resources. The integration of technology in education is stronger than ever before. And in 2025, A-level students will benefit from things like virtual classrooms. This is for the purpose of remote learning. Students will have access to online classes, webinars, and virtual revision sessions, which are now common in both schools and tutoring environments. There's also AI-assisted learning, where adaptive learning tools that track student progress and also customize study materials based on the individual needs are becoming increasingly common. Then there are more focus on skills-based learning. Yes, while exams remain the primary mode for assessments, this Growing emphasis on skills-based learning in 2025. For example, problem solving and critical thinking. Subjects like maths and sciences are focusing more on real-world problem solving, while humanities are putting more emphasis on critical analysis of contemporary issues. Then there's also research projects. Some subjects now incorporate more coursework and extended essays such as the EPQ, short for the Extended Project Qualification, which actually is worth 28 UCAS points, encourages students to develop independent research skills and applying them into their chosen topic of interest. So understanding the changes in A-levels in 2025 means preparing yourself to become more agile, more thoughtful, and capable in areas that matter most in a fast-changing world. Number four. Assessment and exam preparation in 2025. Imagine two different sets of exams. One is straightforward and fact-based, and the other one is about the ability to analyze, connect knowledge, and interpret information. In 2025, A-levels is the latter. It's not just about what you know, but how you use what you know. A-level remains largely exam-based with assessment taking place at the end of a two-year course. However, Exams have evolved in the following ways. Firstly, focus on application over memorization. Exams are increasingly testing students' ability to apply knowledge rather than to memorize facts. In subjects like maths and sciences, questions require deeper understanding and real-world applications. And in humanities, expect a lot more emphasis on critical analysis, essay writing, and form your own well-supported arguments. Then there is more emphasis on evaluation. Subjects like economics and history will ask students to not just present facts, but to evaluate different perspectives and critique the information from sources. This deeper level thinking is critical for achieving top grades. Does your argument work 100% of the time? Does your argument work under every single possible scenario? Are there limitations to the data or assumptions made by a particular theory? Are there alternative solutions to the problem? So in short, the A-level exams of 2025 are designed to test depth of knowledge, problem solving, and the ability to analyze rather than to regurgitate. Five, how to excel at A-levels in 2025. Achieving top grades at A-levels require a strategic approach. Here's a very short summary. First, start early. By revising early, you avoid unnecessary stress and anxiety of cramming last minute. You also have the luxury of spending extra time on difficult topics. And you'll also be better prepared for regular assessments and can use them as valuable feedback to identify weaknesses early. Secondly, familiarize with the syllabus. A-star students or grade nine students often stress the importance of aligning their study sessions with the exam syllabus. The syllabus outlines exactly what topics you need to study and how deeply you need to understand each one of them. This helps you guide your revision along the core content that examiners will assess. And you can also use that as a revision checklist. Thirdly, relate your subjects to everyday event. 
Tying your revision materials to everyday events not only helps you anchor information in your memory more securely and easily, but in some subjects like economics, it is a requirement to integrate real-world examples into your essay and exam analysis, demonstrating that you can apply knowledge in practice and make your arguments more relevant and insightful. Fourthly, stay organized. With organized study notes, a clear timetable and a systematic approach to revision, you can avoid becoming overwhelmed by the sheer volume of material. Be sure to prioritize by focusing more time on subjects or topics that you find the hardest and set clear goals by knowing exactly what you want to accomplish in every revision hour. Lastly, practice past papers. One of the best ways to excel in A-Levels 2025 is by practicing past papers over and over. But beware, this is only valuable if you do it under time conditions and under time exam conditions as well. This helps you become more familiar with question types and time pressure. For the former, you get a feel for the style of questions that are likely to appear in the exam and what examiners are looking for. As for the latter, it will train you to manage your time effectively and increase your ability to handle pressure and reduce anxiety. For more details on how to revise for A-level exams, please check out my other video, How to Revise for A-level exams. The link will be on the screen right now. So look, at the end of the day, A-levels in 2025 is an exciting challenge and ultimately a rewarding experience as well. They require dedication, adaptability, and a willingness to push yourself. But remember, with every step, you're not just preparing for exams. You're building a foundation for future filled with options and opportunities. So embrace that journey and let's go. If you found this video to be useful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel where we give tutors like you the insight and knowledge you need to get ahead at school and helping you get the best grades possible. Together, we will help you thrive and reach your academic goals. And if you'd like to improve your A-level performance, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me or for our team of professionals. The contact information is on your screen right now. Thank you for watching, and I wish you the very best of luck with your studies.